I want to welcome you all to a very important session, our Wednesday live service. I hope I find you well wherever you are. And I want to invite you to join us together so that we can move together as we hear from the presence of the Lord. The table has been prepared and food has been made ready. Now it's time for us to come and feast upon the spiritual food that feeds our souls and feeds our spirit. I want to invite you all, um, if you can, please take someone and invite someone uh, to this session. I know that person will not be disappointed. You will also not be disappointed because God is about to speak to your life. A message that God has given us that we're going to be sharing and discussing tonight. It's a very critical and, and very important to the body of Christ. To us as Christians, uh, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. And I want you to know that something is about to be released. The same way that we run for our lunch time and our supper time to feed our bodies, I expect us also to run and say, this is the time to feed my spirit. You need your spirit in its best state. And uh, it will be good for us to feed it uh, as we do this. Like a good shepherd, I have come with another word. To feed someone and help someone to continue to grow in the presence of the Lord. We're going to be sharing and discussing a very important and uh, very particularly um, critical topic in the time that we are. In the time zone that God has given us now. And uh, to help me discuss this topic with Pastor Mai Hwakonorwa. Uh, Mother, welcome. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for having me. Um, the topic on seed time harvest mm -hmm. is still continuing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a roller coaster oh, yes. of, a, of a session. Mm -hmm. And um, we have learned a lot. Yeah. Lord. And we still keep learning. Yes. Takakura chivu kwa nzuko zidza upere. So akusikutumbo pera. Chati za shaka wanda gorerino. Indeed. Today we want to just uh, slightly dimensionalize mm -hmm. from what we have been discussing, but we're still in the same trajectory, in the same line yes. of discussion. Yes. We want to discuss the spirit of behind money or the spirit of money. Oh, yes. That's my topic that we want to cover tonight. Uh, I am looking forward to, an, to our all night service that's coming on Friday, mm -hmm. where I will have the whole night to pray mm -hmm. and uh, to teach yes. and uh, also to, to prophesy, to declare, mm -hmm. and uh, to, uh, to, to do deliverance. Yes and fight systems, spiritual systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we prepare our hearts and our spirit for that all night that's coming on Friday, yes. uh, 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 God has placed on my heart to share on the spirit behind money. Because uh, I notice that there is, uh, we, at times, we, it may be naivety mm -hmm. that uh, we don't take it uh, to this dimension, to this deeper level when we start dealing with the issues of money. Yes. So as we teach, uh, we teach about the savings, mm -hmm. we teach about investment, mm -hmm. we teach about uh, diligence in managing yes. your resources yes. to the best of your ability so that you can bring out the best mm -hmm. of what God has given unto you. Yes. And mm -hmm. in the past few weeks, we've been teaching about sowing seed. We're talking about the spiritual systems of sowing. Mm -hmm. And we're also talking about the physical systems of sowing. Yes. But we want to try and stretch a little bit, uh, TND a little bit deeper mm -hmm. and deal with the spirit behind money. Okay. What we have known money to be is what we get physically. Yes. Whether it's money, Yawiyam Bank is an electronic uh, 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 money. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm just taking it as a physical uh, depiction of money. Yes. Or it's... Mm. go for something or it's the it is it, it's uh, 
uh, is money that you get that's physical money that you can really count in your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, and most of the time we are then structured to say let's deal with money from that perspective Indeed we so are. we we just look at that money and say how much money do you have yes. and so forth uh, and we then do not realize um, the spiritual dimension or the spiritual part okay. uh, that uh, money occup that, that 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 drives the physical mm -hmm. remember whenever we're talking about anything really physical really tangible yes the basis of anything really physical really tangible is the spirit realm mm -hmm. so in the spirit realm they are all kinds of things mm -hmm. some of the things are you have manifested and they are now physical mm -hmm. some of them are not even physical mm -hmm. but spiritually they are there yeah. and uh, i was teaching the other time and i said the spiritual atmosphere is as real as our physical dimension mm -hmm. Yes. And we just need to get the full appreciation mm -hmm. of what goes on behind the scenes of what we can now see in the physical. Okay. There are plenty of things that are behind what we can see that drive all these things that we see. Mm -hmm. So when we look at the spiritual dimension, it's much easier when you look at a human being. Because a human being is a spirit. And most of the things that non and machita physically are all driven from what is happening in the spirit. Yes. So we have in a, some have in a, a, a platform, a place where we now get to have, we, where we now uh, uh, um, kind of like understand that a human being is a spirit, yes. and whatever drives character, emuno, personality, emuno, uh, effort, emuno, success, emuno, everything in the in, in that person's life is being born out on, on, on from what is happening in the in that person's spirit. Yes. So spiritually, we have now uh, grown to a level where we have uh, an understanding, a basic premise mm -hmm. in terms of our understanding of what happens in the spirit right. before it manifests pamunu in the physical mm -hmm. but i want to just uh, lay this quick foundation mm -hmm. to say not just a human being mm -hmm. is spiritual mm -hmm. but basically everything mm -hmm. in the physical realm is spiritual roots mm -hmm. so the force and the power that drives the world now mm -hmm. is not physical it is spiritual. Okay. The power and the force that drives everything that's happening here mm -hmm. is spiritual. Mm -hmm. So things are born in the spirit. Mm -hmm. They are manifested in the physical. Yes. They are born in the spirit. Mm -hmm. They are manifested in, this, in the physical. Yes. Jeremiah chapter number one. Mm -hmm. uh, before you were conceived in your mother's womb, mm -hmm. I knew you. Oh, yeah. You know, and I actually ordained you a prophet mm -hmm. to the nations, yes. which means I dealt with everything that was going to come and happen years later in the yes. physical. Yes. I, I birthed it. This is God mm -hmm. speaking. This is God speaking. Yes. I gave breath to it in the spiritual. Mm -hmm. While no one knew Jeremiah, while his parents had not even met. Yes. God had already Indeed. finished with Jeremiah. Yeah. So these were just physical processes that would then give birth to a physical human being mm -hmm. that we would then see and call a prophet. Yes. So yes. Jeremiah akazo jarwa, akazo ordain wanamari, or akazo dies wanamari to mm -hmm. become a prophet. Mm -hmm. Yet God had finished. Mm -hmm. The Bible says he declares the end from the beginning. Oh, yes. So yes. he looks at these things from a spiritual dimension yes. and then releases all these things into the physical atmosphere mm -hmm. for us, for the benefit of us who are on the earth realm, mm -hmm. the, which we call the cosmos. Yeah. So on this part of the earth realm, the part that we have, yes. we have physical things that we don't understand because a lot of things are being birthed in the spirit mm -hmm. and then they come to manifest in the physical. Mm -hmm. I want you to, with that same understanding, I want us to all just take it just like that and bring it to the aspect of money. Okay. And we then say money is physical, true. It is. But it has spiritual roots. Yes. Money is 
birthed in the spirit mm -hmm. it is directed in the spirit yes. money is a currency which means it it goes and comes yes. back and you know you know it, it is going somewhere and it is mm -hmm. coming back as mm -hmm. a currency mm -hmm. yes. and i want you to know that the direction that money is going to take as it travels as a currency yes. is determined in the spiritual realm wow and if the spirit spiritual realm says money is not going to go that route or that direction it will never go there no matter how much we try in the physical realm to push it there to take it there those are going to know 1 million dollars nas tikapa murombo akanzi mu spirit afane kuita mari that person ano ibata physically because but because spiritually ana kuibata this person this money will not stay here because money will start moving slowly out of the hands of this person mm -hmm. and goes to other places where it is destined to go wow where spiritually it has been destined to go you remember i was preaching about the story of the prodigal son yes. that spiritually the father was the custodian of the resources and yes, the money and the cattle and everything mm -hmm. though all the wealth was in the hands of the father mm -hmm. and then the son claimed his own share mm -hmm. and then he got it he took it and it was not it was not long before that money found its way back into the hands of the father because spiritually money was in the hand of the father mm -hmm. money had not been distributed to the hand of the son yes it had not yet been distributed into the hands not of yet. the son yes. but the son because are greedy mm -hmm. and i mean whatever is going on in his mind he mm -hmm. claims money and he gets it the mm -hmm. father is so honorable he mm -hmm. gives him the money yes. but because spiritually he didn't receive it oh. he got it physically and didn't get it spiritually so mm -hmm. he still lost all of it all of it all of it within the shortest possible time frame oh. Saka kana tichingwa vangwa vati chishanda tichaga mari physically zvaka naka zvida kuipa but i want us to understand that if we don't create a spiritual dimension to this money that we are working with physically this money we will never have real you know we will never be able to really wrap our hands and grab this money to say mari ndakazai bata ndakazai wana so we will die to go chena vudzi tine a lot of effort that we have made and done physically yes. towards looking for money working hard to get it either savings mm -hmm. either investing it whichever dimension it is physically to try and contain this money yes. it will come through our hands and slip away wow. to other hands it will never even come even if you have created a whole system yes. to get the money you will mm -hmm. still not get it Okay. Why? Because spiritually there has not been a declaration, a dimension that really clearly defines to say you are also entitled to get the money. Mm -hmm. So you might discover that spiritually there is no name. Mm -hmm. Your name is not in the realm where you can get some resources, some money. Mm -hmm. And if we don't create this whole system, then we are uh, we are going to have serious challenges. Mm -hmm. Let me let me go deeper. Yes. So s Christians have, 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 uh, we have worked the issues of money from the worldly dimension. Yes. Yes. But we then did not realize that uh, we if we're going to deal with money there has to be a spiritual system platform that we have created mm -hmm. that allows Marie could even part and parcel of our life. Okay. Yes. And and because we have not created the spiritual platform, we work together with the heathens, yeah. my industries. I mean, work very hard and get salaries. Yes. We do everything else together with others. We we still go through the same challenges. Zimbabwe will give us all the same kind of challenges to each and every one of us. Mm -hmm. But others have a spiritual system yes. that manages the money and manages mm -hmm. the resources. Isusu mm Zimbabwe, -hmm. we don't have because we were never taught mm -hmm. that money is a spiritual yes, system yes. money is a really really spiritual system i need that i need that to be very clear exactly. money is a holy spiritual whole system mm -hmm. and if we don't create a system uh, our own way of manipulating the spiritual atmosphere for our own advantage yes. then we will never be able to manage and control it in the physical so it will come through our hands mm -hmm. and it will slip away wow. and we don't even understand good say marriage we are yes. say marriage yes. we are yes. because we have not been able 
to understand the spiritual dimension. This is what I'm trying to break down last. And we say, let's talk about this. Oh, yes. Because we he need to understand that money is a spirit behind it. Can I tell you what money is a spirit? Yes. Physically, yes. We have it as a, as a physical system. But mm -hmm. we need to understand that it is being driven by spiritual systems and if we don't wrap our hands to, to, to uh, around the spiritual dimension that's driving mm -hmm. the process and the procedures mm -hmm. and the systems that drives currency you know, mari, then we're going to have challenges that we are nev never going to have answers for i hope that that, that becomes clear now we need to understand that is also money mari it is spiritual physical mm -hmm. Okay. Tombo yenda iko kwacho kwa ili spiritual kwacho iko. So no talangura tave ikoko and I want to try and bring our audience to this level mm -hmm. of discussion yes. to say guys let's come to this level and let's talk about money from a spiritual perspective. All right. It's a seriously spiritual system. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the world has understood that. So they they know kuti munakanza ne mari they want to understand kuti spiritually akaita chi yes kuti azo deserve kuti ave ne mari ainayo exactly kunyika kuna munhu anongonzi ane mari ah ah kunyika vanotoziva kuti vakaona munhu aine mari they want to understand how this person made the money wow business uh -uh, it's not enough it's not enough it's, not. it's still not enough because I'm not salary business you are still maravan one person has a rise a lot of money I resources people need to understand what this this person do okay and kajenji you will still go back into the world and you discover what mm -hmm. but there's no as is seen. Mm -hmm. People also want to understand it what this happens. person did wrong. All right, yes. Not physically, because they know the physical it is it wrong with wrong, right? And we are playing around in the same space. Yes. But this person had made money mm -hmm. to a level where mm -hmm. it was not going to be easy for this person to be broke yes. one day. Yes. But how did this person lose all those resources and finally yeah, became yeah. bankrupt? Yeah, we want to know <laughs> and the world wants to understand that mm -hmm. and they know that there is a spiritual fallout okay. that has happened in the life of a person yes. and we need to appreciate that in in, yes. in the christian circles mm -hmm. let's appreciate that maria ingoyitwe nemunhu wese wese Yes. Money is spiritual. There are people that are able to manipulate money spiritually right. and they bring it to their dimension. Mm -hmm. Every time yes, yes, when yes. everyone else is claiming it, is looking for it. Mm -hmm. Every time he makes the deal work and mm -hmm. he gets the money. Yes. And Mangwana, when everyone else works, nothing happens. And when he comes, Mangwana, he works on that deal, whether it's mining, whether uh, it's politics, whether it's business, whether mm -hmm. it's whatever system, mm -hmm. including ministry, including churches, inclu mm -hmm. there are people that have capacity to manipulate the direction of mar and we need to appreciate that as christians kune vanhu vari kugona mfundisi kumanipulate kufamba kwe mari and vari kuifambisa to what direction dzavo kwete dzedu isusu saka at the end of the day isusu we we suffer we struggle we work hard we do everything yes. we don't get that money no, but don't. there are people that get it when go akatorara but because these people have understood that money is not physical i hope I, someone can understand what i'm talking about money is not physical mm -hmm. and the moment we we don't understand that concept mm -hmm. it means we will still continue to struggle yes, within this concept but mm -hmm. i want to also reiterate pastor Sadenda yes, Kuri. yes. Kuti, Christianity without money mm, is not Christianity yes. at all. <laughs> Christianity without money, Christianity without money. I've been a Christian for years mm. now. Christianity without money, I'm talking from experience. Mm. But now I'm talking from personal experience. Yes. Christianity without money is not Christianity at all. Wow. Because real <laughs> Christianity, the power of Christianity is on the altar wow. of sacrifice. Wow. 
Okay. The power of Christianity is on the altar of sacrifice. sacrifice. I hope I can repeat that. Please do. <laughs> the power of Christianity mm -hmm. is on the altar of sacrifice. Right. Because pa, pa altar, the open dimension, which we can now touch the spiritual dimension wow. from the physical realm. Mm -hmm. We have access into the spiritual atmosphere because we have, we have created an altar. When we create an altar, we are able, we are able to pass into the spiritual atmosphere okay. and then begin to manipulate things in the spiritual dimension. Right. But without an altar, we are not able to do that. We are not. No. And because we can't we can't manipulate the spiritual atmosphere, Istrima Christians, how are we going to heal the sick? How are we going to pray for demons and cast them out of our lives? How are we going to deal with spiritual systems that we can't see? How are we going to deal with the devil? How are we going to deal with my spiritual covenants? I my family is made of thousands of years and we don't, I, we don't even, number one, we don't even know them. Number two, we don't even understand them. Yes. How are we yes. going to deal with all these things without a spiritual altar? So we need an altar. We but do. the moment I want our altar, I want our sacrifice. <laughs> The moment I go to the altar, pa pa dream, but without the altar, we just want to manipulate the spiritual systems. Then the immediate second thing that we need on the altar is a sacrifice. Wow. You can't have an altar without a sacrifice. In the form of money. <laughs> and sacrifice, <laughs> sacrifice. Pa kuto diwa mar. Kata unta unta ras pa kuto sacrifice. Whether in boots, whether in mob, whether in moon, whether kushandira mwari, whether kuitra chinu, chawa itra mwari, whether. Kutenga zinuje church kwa kusapota basa ramuari kwenye ndege evangelism kwenye ano parida anything that you are going to talk about ukati uangwa iti sacrifice tato da mari kutenga ano parida na just to have broadcast ine ya tukungwe ita broadcast ine the amount of money that we have to put on the altar so that we can just have a broadcast tini se vangeri kunze through through social media or whatever media means. We need money. Kutena ono pari da tite crusade, titange kuseta ama lights ne stage ne chi, takuto na mari. And for us, if we're not going to talk about money, and then we say, tuna mata mari, tisina mari. I think, yeah, pani nya epa, you know, that was sanangurwa. Ma Christo waka wanda, we then lose it. That's how our Christianity has lost its power. It means we are going to have Christianity without power. Because Christianity with power will require a sacrifice. True. It will require sacrifice. God yes. had to bring his own son mm. to put, put him on the altar of sacrifice. Yes, yes, because is. the sacrifice has to be big yes. so that he can also get bigger things on the, uh, on the earth realm. Let's go. Vundisi, pa, pa, kantakuto ngo taura chi Christu, ngati wira nei, ma Christu apa, ngati wira nei, chi Christu, chi sina mara ajite. Ajite. We are not going to move the world no, with our Christianity. Yeah. There's no influence there. We are not going to move people. We are not going to move God. That's the highest level. Wow. <laughs> we are not going to move the heart of God with our prayer, without sacrifice. Sacrifice, pray. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sacrifice for Barry, mm -hmm. then the art spiritual atmosphere opens up. Then our prayer. Wow. Then our prayer. Yes. Then our prayer. <laughs> you have any way you can shake up Barry Pamari? Otherwise, our prayer it will be wrapped up a road up. Oh, glassy silly. Because there is no sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, you know the story of Cain and Abel. I the story of Cain and Abel. Mm -hmm. And then Abel had the sacrifice. He accept And the Bible says God smelt the sweet aroma of the sacrifice of Abel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he accepted it. And and uh, the the sacrifice of Cain was not accepted. Mm -hmm. And because it was not accepted, his prayer was not also mm -hmm. not accepted. Mm. God did not just reject his prayer. Mm -hmm. He rejected his sacrifice. sacrifice. When he rejected the sacrifice, then his prayer oh had God. no value. Which means praying without sacrifice. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to get into trouble. But this is, this is it. Praying without sacrificing. Praying without sacrificing. I don't know 
from from my experiences edu as christians mm. but nini from my own personal experiences no matter what i'm going for 21 days and praying we sacrifice as a sacrifice for altar that mm. prayer you will suffer Jesus. and struggle there are people mfundis, mm -hmm. that did not pray all night that did not spend yeah. 21 days praying and fasting mm, but that brought up a sacrifice and god was moved yeah. I was talking to you just recently. Yeah. We, we were discussing the story of Solomon. We were, yes. Solomon, Solomon, he did not have an all night prayer. Yes. <laughs> Solomon, the Bible says he took thousand, a thousand bulls. One mm. thousand bulls. One thousand bulls. I want to move on. True. He took one thousand bulls, sacrificed them on the altar. Mm sacrificed them on the top of the mountain yes. and went to sleep wow. and went to sleep he did not even pray he did not even yes, fast he, not. he ate his supper and slept well wow. slept <laughs> early maybe for that day yes. after he was sleeping god god himself not okay. him trying to call Mar Mar no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. god himself had to move from his own throne and visit so and visit solomon and solomon uh-uh Sacrifice, you are going to do it. Wow. demands. Look at how many demands that we take to God. And they are never answered. Look at the many demands that we pray for and fast for. Some of them 21 days. Some of them the Esther fast three days and three nights. No water, nothing. Some of them the Daniel fast. Some of them. We all do all kinds of fasting and all kinds of praying and crying with tears. We sleep in the mountain. We try all kinds of things to try and move the heart of God. Look at, look at a person who has got resources. Bringing them before God. Just within a split second, he goes to sleep. He, he sleeps in his own bed, not even go. Yes. I'm going to sacrifice him. Go. He went to his own bed, mm -hmm. nice bedroom, slept well. And when he, while he slept, God was moved, and he came down and said, Solomon, we don't do it today. Quite a good Solomon, he didn't even put mm -hmm. a demand for what he wanted. Mm -hmm. God came and asked him. Imagine blank check from God. An open check to say, what do you want? <laughs> and he only asked for wisdom. Imagine, you know, you imagine. know. <laughs> and he asked God just for wisdom. He said, God, if you would give your servant wisdom mm. to be a judge to his own people. Imagine. And and God said, mm -hmm. on top of wisdom. Now, wisdom, don't worry. The moment you say it, you are given. But on top of wisdom, I'm going to give you wealth. Mm -hmm. Imagine you know people are wealth same basera. Yet you could never remember we tanyira mari, but namata all over the place trying to move the heart of God mm -hmm. to give them True. wealth. Yes. This gentleman had capacity to understand how the spiritual atmosphere can be shifted. You know, the ability to move the spiritual atmosphere. Mm -hmm. You need to understand that money is spiritual. So God said, I'll give you wealth on top of that. And on top of that, I'll give you a huge name, a big name, a mm -hmm. powerful name. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. of, yes. of, uh, of what you have done, really. Yes. Mm -hmm. Principally, it's about what he had done yes. on the altar of yes. sacrifice. Because he opened the spiritual atmosphere. He manipulated that. You remember the children of Israel, they were about to... They, 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 were, they wanted to leave the land of Egypt. Yes, yes. I they wanted to leave the, the, leave the land of Egypt. Mm -hmm. And they said to Pharaoh, can, we, can you let us go so that we can worship our God in the desert? Yes. And, and Pharaoh said, you can go, but leave your cattle and your wealth and everything here. Mm -hmm. And they said, how do then do we worship God without a sacrifice? And in any question, the 21st century Christian, how do we worship God without, without money? How do we worship God without money? How can we say we are prayer warriors? We love God. We give our all to God. But we can't give you money. Mm -hmm. We cannot be able, we are not going to be able to move the heart of God yes. without money. Yes. So money is critical mm -hmm. in the it gospel. True. Money is an essential tool. Mm. 
Zakafana na nemuno ano ano tindiri makanika asina matulu zebasa. Ah ah. You can be a Christian without Mary is number one. The Bible says you will enter his gates with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. The first thing that you bring into the house of the Lord, the moment you come, you walk in, mm -hmm. is a, your is your altar sacrifice. Right. Is a gift that you are bringing to God. God will ask you for something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So oh my God! The Bible says money answers all things. It does. It, now look at all that, and now we then say, Jesus, we want to move the the systems of this world. Mm -hmm. We want to move everything that's happening here, and yet we we are not going to be putting money on the altar or money on the table. Mm. Christianity, Munamari. Christianity, Mary. Ngapa tana nguri kei papa shaka na kapa muno amari kuti Christianity Mary. You were you were you, you, you were explaining something. Kuti muno garam shara isure utuku shonyo rora. Yeah. That is what we are doing as Christians right We're now. We're trying to Manipulate. twist arm twist God. Kuti mm. but look at how 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 far we have been able to arm twist the heart of God. No, no. these are spiritual systems and spiritual mm. principles. As long as the earth lives. Seed time and harvest will not cease. There are things that will never change. Mm -hmm. These are spiritual systems. We have to obey the spiritual dimension okay. of money. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, what have But let's try, let's try to uh, just introduce this subject quickly. Okay. I was going to read Kuna. Uh, Luke chapter number 16. Okay. Jungo, but maybe one subject for today. To put it up and be next week. Okay. But now that we Christians, we say, this is a dimension. We all understand mm -hmm. that we need money. So, can't talk to someone who are going to marry is spiritual. That if I'm better, I say, tend to test to say the spiritual we marry, and we understand what we need to do, True. so that we can also have money. We need money. Mm -hmm. Christianity is, 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 is driven by a whole s your, your spiritual system, uh, but uh, physically, right. it's driven by God and by the Spirit of God. Mm. But could he read tickets? They say he's on the physical dimension. Because the moon has a pure capacity in the He couldn't do it. He not The Spirit drives the person. Mm -hmm. The person drives the things. But how, you do, how do you drive the things that are bubbling in your spirit? Mm -hmm. Without money. So when the spirit drives your spirit, mm -hmm. when the spirit of God drives you in the inside, yes. and now you want to move the earth, you want to move the things on the ground, mm -hmm. it's a particularly, particularly important subject. I have look chapter number 16, past, right. And just read a, a few verses. Uh, but maybe one dimension today. And okay. we take it up. The spirit of money is a very, very, very long subject. <laughs> it is. Luke chapter 16 mm -hmm. from verse 1 mm -hmm. it, uh, it has parable of the unjust servant mm -hmm. and he said also unto his disciples mm -hmm. there was a certain rich man mm -hmm. which had a steward and the same was accused unto him that he had wasted his goods mm -hmm. and he called him and said unto him how is it that I hear this of thee give an account of thy stewardship mm -hmm. for right let's 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 try to just break it up okay. may not know in the right. but tingo but a papo first the jesu are going to find it yes but uh, when you then begin to to analyze that uh, parable mm -hmm. he says there was a man yes and it yes. we had yes. everything mm -hmm. and then he had a steward, steward. yes and in our topic and rango but i'm big and we try to wrap it up i sent something there <laughs> yeah already because you have to pick this up quickly mm. this is the structure that spiritually spiritually mm -hmm. this is how god has structured it okay there is a man who owns everything all right and then he has a steward yes a steward mm. and i want you to know just so argued there was a man this mm -hmm. is god Mm -hmm. And then he had a steward. That's you and me. Yes, it is. That's the man. Mm -hmm. So a human being, according to the parable, you teach Jesus, according to God, mm -hmm. a human being can tell the out the Mary intrinsically. Mm -hmm. A human being is just a steward. All right. 
and we have to accept and understand that primarily marie haizi yedu marie ndeya mwari yes the bible says kuna uh, 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 psalm chapter number 24 mm-hmm. silver and gold belongs mm-hmm. to god yes all the silver and the gold on the earth mm-hmm. it banyika mm-hmm. it all belongs to god yes so a human being is primarily a steward mm-hmm. and unfortunately no concept kuma kucheche takataza kubata nekukurumidza yes because we takatora ownership ye mari kanta utanga utara ne mari iri spirit iri iri spiritual is us tiri physical did he operate apa physical we have to understand kuti haizi yedu true you know determine what with what is happening in the spirit realm okay. what is happening in the spirit realm must be able to manipulate what is in the physical i hope that can be understood yo yo can go but what space statement you roll na to pensa christians where mm-hmm. wherever you are yes. i want you to understand this ukaona wabata mari mm-hmm. you have to understand kuti kune spiritual force mm-hmm. that is directing mari iri murogoro wako Ndizo mm-hmm. mariri murukoro wako au directed diwe you know oh. direct kwa spiritual okay mm-hmm. so the moment that you get money in the physical you have to be able to shift your eyes spiritually yes. and say what is the spirit saying okay. about this money yes, yes. otherwise kuda kana kusada you are still going to lose this money, money. <laughs> to what okay. the spirit was going to determine yes so could you be part and parcel of the plan that's happening in the spiritual atmosphere yes. become a steward not an owner oh usai temuridzwe mari yes remain a chi a steward ramba uri mutariri so that the spiritual atmosphere can control you when it comes to the issues to deal with money okay <laughs> this spiritual <laughs> atmosphere must control us we have to allow that to happen so that we remain in the in the plan okay. in the we remain in the circle <laughs> otherwise truzo ngo pushwa off the circle re mari mari yo continue ichienda kwa inofana kuenda because spiritually mari yarongerwa zvainofanira kuya kuzoita oh. and then ndobva yawiswa mawoko mako mm-hmm. iwewe you are supposed to be a steward mm-hmm. and a good steward is a listener mm-hmm. of what the owner of the money is going to say saka zvataurwa zvezvo yakunzi mari mm-hmm. 10% ngaiende ku church iwa usi kuzvinzwa mache zvese zvozvo <laughs> at that part and but no gurumit 10% muridzwe mari muridzi iwa usiri we iwa vadzo vane nharo apa hosi vakhisa kuti ndiya yangu there's that you know we claim it we own it and we now we don't want to release it takutona kunge ikabuda mhino muna daundi bira yeti muridzi wayo at muridzi wayo at bisa imwe haizi yako Oh. iri kufana kuenda kwa inofanira kuenda kwa ndakati yes. determine iwewe mm. ungori mutari richete oh okay but kuti mari ndirambe ndichishanda newe panyaya dze mari ndigoramba ndichishanda <laughs> newe there has to be that rapport that connection that mm-hmm. communication mm-hmm. between the the murids we we we, 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 we mari mm-hmm. ne munhu azopiwa mari kuti ishande So you are only a steward Bundis. Wow. You are only a steward. All right. But you have become an owner unfortunately. Mari pa yakangopinda muruoko rwako. You thought you own it. So muridzwe mari anobva ango anongo kusubveta okuburitsa pa equation. Ongotsvaga mumwe munhu akushanda naye. Okay. We are stewards. Mari is here do. Remember kana tika fine ngo sara. True. Remember kana tikaitika anything this man chero kwanza wa ona yese the whole world uno it say go nothing really <laughs> spiritually this money has directions and dimensions that is supposed to fulfill yes because money is spiritual mm-hmm. listen to me i want you to understand kuti spiritually mari ari kutoishandisawo mari okay and it is to move the gospel yes. and move people mm-hmm. 
into certain levels in certain dimension mwari ari kutoshanisa mari ndosaka yakanyorwa hapana hapana ecclesiastes yakanzi money answers all things mwari ari kutoshanisa mari that's why he owns all of it now we were talking about the devil in the past few weeks they said the devil is also using money to win the souls of men and to control them to dominate them to take whatever god has given them including my gifts including my talents including my abilities out including visions yes, remember yes. the devil that, that doesn't uh, yeah, he doesn't have anything yes. remember that man was given the god headship headship Yes. Of the earth. Yes. It was given to men. Yes. Not to the devil. No. Not to any angel. And now the devil could I want your head to be your, your he is using money no. to manipulate a human being. Yes. So that a human being now comes under right. under the devil. Mm -hmm. So money is spiritual. If you don't mm -hmm. understand that, the guni cavanos understand. Vanonzi Muzugunda kubatsira nenganga ndizvo ka uchanaita mari but kana waita mari usakanga nwe nodzoka kuno ndizvo ende munhu akasadzoka nayo yes yes yakudzoka inodzoka yes it is spiritual it is spiritual munhu akangochikora miko dzese dzaitiswa nenganga ndo musi wano sarasi sina mari zvachose vese vari kuzobroka zvekuti vano broka all these people have have there is, a, there is to be a spiritual something that they have messed up. True. A spiritual system. Kuma Christians, we are messing this spiritual system every day. Mm. And you find Christians broke. True. Money is spiritual. Mm -hmm. My spiritual systems, they are utilizing money to control the world. Wow. And we have to appreciate that. Saka, if you are going to be part and parcel of the system, you also have to obey the expectation okay. of that man. Saka, muna kenda kunganga akanzi, chaku pa mari, but a wipi ama yako, hape. Chelo shikaita say, follows the spiritual laws of money. Because money is a spirit. I want us to close. I want us to close now. Vamu varu kutezera, iso atizi. Ikanzi, haipi we munu. Munanita Maria ka wanda so happy kara mun. That's true. Akazo nongo matengira chikafu. That's what he does. I don't follow what this because he knows could marry it is spiritual. A is he it is physical. Yes. It would direct us spiritually. And the spiritual system ikati marry a upe my work happy. Akazo upe mukazi happy. Is so so why why are we looking at money as a physical system? And we can't understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, for his own greater good. True. God has a greater plan in this world he that he also wants yes. to utilize yes. money yes. as mm -hmm. a force, as a system. True. Because True. and can never accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. And God knows that. Yes. And God knows that. Mm -hmm. And God knows that. So mm -hmm. God wants you to be rich. Imagine my visa pastor. Yes, yes. I don't see in Christ became poor. Mm. Oh, that we might be rich because the agenda of heaven will never be satisfied without resources. Wow. And God had to allow Christ to be poor so that Isusu, my apostles, my mm. pastors, my evangelists, my, 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 my saints, yes. everyone who is coming into the body of Christ as a Christian must have money mm. so that we can move the systems of this world. Yes. Sakatura mm. said this Ie mari waka fa. Aka ve murombo. Kutitive ne mari. Amazing. I'll close at this at this part. Pastor. We must have money. I don't know how to speak this to Christians. But Christians have to understand me. Unfortunately, gospel rataka disikuwa chikura kuma chechi sataka kurira aka wanda. They never told us that a Christian must be rich. True. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wealth is a contradiction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can only move this world if we have money. True. You will not move much. You only have to put money on the table and move things around. 
You can wow. you can shift the whole world just yes. with a voice, yes. with a word, mm. if you've got money. Mm -hmm. But mariachi is spiritual. True. Saka kuti tive na yo physical. True. Fana utezira ma spiritual systems. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm rapping at a prophetic dimension, okay. pastor. Yes. Was kune munu mariachi ruta ora neo. Mm -hmm. Kuti ipacha kat. And the Rukushi, you want to own that. Mm -hmm. Yet God wants to use that for the greater good of his kingdom. Yes. But as he does that, when he takes away that thing out of your life, mm -hmm. he, the Bible says, press down, shaking, shaking together, together, and running mm -hmm. over. He will, he will give you more. Because you have satisfied the title of a steward. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. God does not work with owners. Mm. We are not owners place. in this kingdom. We are stewards. God only works with stewards. If you want God's money, mm -hmm. be a steward. Thank you. To take us to church. Someone is not a participant. Mm -hmm. But God is speaking to him. True. And we think at times that we are going to move the uh, heart of God. We are not. With our prayer. Not, we are not. That's why the Bible says we pray amiss. Oh. Mm. Now it's all, the pieces are coming together now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We pray amiss. We pray out of our selfish desires. Mm -hmm. That's what the Bible says. That's the truth. And we don't realize that God is demanding something out yes. of us. Yes. We are stewards. Mm -hmm. I pray that we are going to raise a generation that's going to be spiritually powerful. Not just that, but financially powerful. Mm -hmm. So that we can move this world. Oh, yes. With our money. Yes. With our sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Eka. Zimbabwe in a yes. To waste our sacrifice up. So tomorrow we want to shift Zimbabwe this direction. This is money. Oh, wow. So tomorrow I move every direction. Yeah, definitely. We yeah. can move the heart of God. Oh, yes. With our sacrifice. Mm -hmm. On this note, wow. <laughs> uh, I will wrap up this session. But God is speaking to someone. Oh, yes. Please obey the, the voice yes. of God when it comes to the issues of money. Mm -hmm. Don't obey your selfish needs and selfish ambitions and selfish whatever. Mm -hmm. Listen to the voice of God. May God richly bless you until next week from Pastor Mike Pawakonor, myself, and our team behind the crew. Have a good night and may God bless you. Amen.